Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs and today we are continuing our vanilla Roguelands gauntlet, picking up with Salvador. Now my Salvador knowledge at a base level is not that great compared to, you know, some other people on the platform. That being said, I've been playing so much Borderlands in general recently and consuming more Borderlands content, just like basic playthroughs and stuff like that. So my basic understanding of, you know, Borderlands in general is going up. I've been playing a lot of BL3. I've been doing a BL2 playthrough with my friends as Axton. Let's take, I mean, launcher max ammo 67%. Ooh, this one's 73%. Why wouldn't we just launcher it out if we have if we have the option, you know? We're gonna doubt launcher out. A nice Vladov Pushka team bullet regen. Yeah, this this could go insane. I don't think bullet regen works for launchers though. See, that's something that I need to learn. I don't know that. A little factoid. But as far as my Salvador knowledge, oh come on, give me that jump. What's going on here? I, I can't do it from here. There's no way. Yeah, there is a way. Okay. Okay, let's see if we get ourselves a decent shield here. This one can drop boosters. This one can absorb at 16%. This one can drop boosters. And this one is just big. The biggest one is this one with a nice an, an okay recharge delay. Yeah, take that one. I don't think I'm going to be wanting to pick up boosters. It's my thing. No boosters for me. And then next up, I mean, Absorb Champs could be good, though. Hmm, tough choice. Bandit Damage, Bandit Fire Rate. We'll have a Bandit Weapon in our hands right now. So let's let's gear up. Let's go Bandit Launcher in 4, Bandit Launcher, or Vladov Launcher in 3. So if I can use this Launcher as a primary weapon with Bullet Regen and stuff like that, that'd be great. All right, so the gauntlet, how it works is that it's a hardcore gauntlet. You, oh my gosh, you later. Let's go double launch. I don't regenerate any ammo though, I'm pretty sure for these launchers, which is really sad. But I kind of want to, how about we just go? What if we just, what if we simplify things? What if we took our Salvador to the next level where we don't just simply double up launchers but instead our launchers for long range our bandit shotguns for short range and what is lay waste it's all the way down here it's the fire rate one and critical hit damage about yeah that's a gr crazy good kill skill what if we just took the bandit launcher in our right hand oh yeah that's gonna be nice I think for right now, this this one might be the best. Team magazine size. Filled to the brim. I'm going to go for this Grand Titan. And I'm going to go I'm the Juggernaut. And hard to kill instead of out of the bubblegum. Uh, let's go for this one. We will get a little bit of rocket ammo. Huge. Later, kid. Oh, ho, 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 baby. Mmm. Boom. And then afterwards, when I get low on it, oh, come on, this is sick. Oh, what is it? Come on now. And then watch this. Ready for this? Just drop it and you pick it up because it's a launcher. Who needs the, all that reload? You know what I'm saying? It's not the fastest. It's not the fastest reload unless you're good at it. Like if you're good at it, you can do it like that. But I'm not. I don't have that muscle memory yet because it looks like it launches in kind of awkward directions. We are looking for, uh, how about a fire burst grenade? That sounds great. Homing incendiary singularity. Singularity, I'd much rather have one that's lobbed than homing. And a sticky lob slag grenade, dude, this guy, this guy really thought. He's like, oh, I have a shield, I can resist fire. If only you knew, friend, if only you knew. Look, we, we have a fire burst, why don't we just chuck it? Okay, wait, wait, the singularity actually is where it's at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, loot enemy. Don't kill anyone. Clear the loot enemy is dead. Did we get our drop? No, I trolled it. It's okay. Ooh, launcher. Launcher ammo. Would you look at that? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we have a juice house candy for next round. Let's grab our relic. I, th I don't want to be skipping anything. This is a hardcore challenge. Let's see, fight for my lifetime, second wind health. Decent, but. 
I want those better options out here. Shotgun damage, yep. And this whole run could change. But the fact is that we have really strong launchers. A bandit fire launcher. And now we have just a straight up explosive one. What is that? It's the bee shield. Are you out of your mind? I, I, I even recognized it. So immediately without even seeing the color. Okay, so let's just go ahead and stop the bee shield on. And we're going to take a different approach now. I'm going to go right side skill tree. And... I'm going to be trying to become tanky and maybe use the B shield. Like play it slow, become tanky, use the B shield. And this Pushka should just do fine with it. Um, but honestly, like... I actually I can't get... Can't, can't behind. I can't let him break my B shield like that. What I wanted to say was... I want to swap out my launcher for this bandit one. Okay, and then get our shield back to spot hiding over here. You can't kill me. I just, I'm too tanky. Oh, hey guys. Can I not climb up here? Yeah, it's fine. Wait for my shield to come back. And that should be B shield boosted launcher shots, correct? Pretty sure. No reason to... Let's go ahead and just drop reload it like this. Drop reload it. There we go. And can we swap over my fire one for a second? Okay. I think that worked. Maybe. There we go. Got a hit. I got to make sure to always drop reload it before swapping. There we go. My bicho got popped. I want to be able to get up and out of here. All right, here's what we do. We're going to blast our way out. Let's go shotgun. Shotgun. Shotgun damage. No B shield. Regular shield. We're just going to blast our way out. Okay, there's, uh, there's 5 out of 10. Those reloads are ridiculous, but we're getting through the bull loaders. All that matters. Okay, bad strategy. Don't do that again. Melee works here, though. Thank you. Give me a regular reload. I don't like the drop reload all that much. Oh, a loot angelic guard. Sick. Can I, can I get around this? You know what? Let's just go around the old-fashioned way. Okay. Come on now. Show me something, Torg. This Torg weapon is just not doing it for me. It should be fine right here. Bandit launcher. Bandit damage. Let's just do it. Oh my. Yeah, now we definitely need it to do its thing. There we go. Get us out of this. Oh, a little striker action. Cool. I take that. Huge. Okay, we're through that round. I see lots of different colored loot around the ground. Would you look at that bad, Larry? We're getting all the launchers this game. Okay. I think... Yeah, getting that nice bandit shock in the left hand could be cool. I think we go one point on the Juggernaut. And then... I think Asbestos is really big. I think Dots work kills you a lot of the time. So... Let's make the most effective on me. Become tanky. By proxy. Especially in a dragon fight. Okay. It's fine. It's it's honestly pretty fun to play like vanilla roguelands with all the new updates because, you know, roguelands in it by, by its nature is a mod. And we'll take this Gatling gun for sure. And as a mod, it lends itself to other mods pretty seamlessly, which is very, very nice. Sometimes in the Zane, you like, I, I don't know. I just, for some reason, I like this version of, of Rogue Lands probably the best. It's just the runs are a little bit longer. Rubberized Slag Transfusion. I could just go Longbow and Sandiary. Yeah. Okay, we have a, a decent grenade for the future. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, 
that there is a pressure pad somewhere up here yes 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 huge huge find huge get diamond sniper rifle hyperion snipers are my least favorite slow fire rate not the best damage for that reason i'm typically out doll pistols i like this one has a blade on it and an smg that can burn down armor targets sounds nice mm. it could be helpful maybe we ding down the dragons with it at the very end of the game who knows <laughs> troll the canyon we go hey hey ho ho the canyon we go let's just gatling gun it for a bit what is it what like you're expecting to all defenses you shouldn't be doing damage you're right i shouldn't be but here we are he punched drop reload me drop reload me what am i doing not hitting crits against this guy by the way boom boom and guess what boom later kid just drop reload there we go okay i, I, I misunderstood the assignment there we go Let's go, let's go. Pop him. Go. Pretty nice. Let's see. A straight shooting revolver. Repeater. I typically don't get turned up for. I typically don't get turned up for pistols, but. I think the Gatling gun can stay. This TD World launcher hasn't I haven't even given it a chance. Okay. Taking as many of these cooldown ones as I can, I think. Incinerator Clayton. Yeah. He's just, this guy's insane about the firehawk. Wow, this guy really likes the firehawk. Holy moly. I think that's kind of like the background of like how it started. It's like, how did they get all these people to start like sacrificing themselves for you? It's like, what did you do to them? And she's like, I have no idea. Is that what she said? Is that her? Is that her story? Melee damage and override cooldown. You're not going to like it, but I might actually equip it. Adaptive shield makes a lot of sense to me. Even though we have a B we could slap on. Which I'll be very thankful for. I just don't know how much synerg how much it synergizes with. Oof, man, that is a sick class mod. It's gu Gunzerker class mods go absolutely insane. Sure. Okay, let's take our five. We've got we've got launchers for every occasion. Trust me. Just full of hurt. We will use it. I promise. Um. Then I think I want to get to Spestos 5 out of 5. Insight makes a lot of sense to me. Hard to kill and then just got real when we start getting that, that nice gun damage. I think this is a nice simple way to guarantee that you survive the early game on Salvador. Hopefully. Hopefully. That's what the idea is. Okay, let's go. Just tap it, throw one, and blast him with it. Okay, that was a bit of a mistake, maybe? Okay, what I need to do is get my... Oh, see you later. There we go. Why don't we just use it like a normal launcher? There we go. Big, The big sleep is going to be down here in just in a second. Okay, would, you drop me? would you drop me? Oh, another launcher? The ready roaster. Okay, let's do it. Boom, later kid. Mr. Sandman. Bring me a dream. Do 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 do. This is the strongest launcher you've ever seen. Da 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 da. Let's go. That's is that with or without the bandit? It is with the bandit damage, okay. Understood. But I have no points. I mean no points into damage skills. You know what I'm saying? Ow! And it just one shots. Well, yeah, that's that's because you, now you've got ammo constraints. It's like, yeah, I do. You're right. Do we keep going down to the scotery? I think we do. 
just got real who needs gun zerking like i honestly don't need to gun zerk no, no gun zerk synergies yet because i don't have any other skill tree active i don't have the middle tree active so yeah that's why we're not doing that shovel one me speed run shovels shovel to me shovel three and then the, okay apparently in the new patch the big shovel doesn't go they like they moved the big shovel there there we go because when it was there it was like boom flying okay, a lob tesla with but its fuse is so long it could be useful though that's a zero second fuse time slag bouncing batty i mean that is gonna go absolutely insane very cool okay step two climb we do this in one jump each one jump each there we go we're there we're up and we're we're so clutching it explosive damage incendiary damage and sm look at the i mean this is why we farm like these are pieces that are going to be good for the rest of the game is there a quick way to get over to that ledge from here I do not believe there is maybe if i do this and then jump oh come on really I hit the button. I swear I hit the button. Hey. Really? There's gotta be a way. What's, even with super speed? I still haven't used Fistful of Hurt. People are gonna be calling me out. Okay. Ooh, a little corrosive spinny gun. Vlad off edition. I like that. We like shotguns too. Let's just take them. All right, show me the money. A nice model one launcher. So we got to get our launcher system figured out. We have a docks. We have a, a rustler's striker. We want that. This gun can go. There's so many good launchers though. Tell you what, I'll put the fire one. The fire one can remain out. But before we go to the next area, we have to swap out for our launcher max ammo. I'm hoping that that can... I'm hoping that that can maybe give me more rounds back if it's percentage-based. Mm, maybe not. Looks like I'm giving back one magazine or something. So if that's the case, then what we want to do is... Get something out that's, that's high DPS for this turkey lurkey. Do we have anything? The spinning gun doesn't really do it. Could go Pushka. But the things I have an incendiary damage relic. Guess we'll just figure it out. I have a shotgun damage relic. I could use the striker. Striker isn't the greatest, most OP Jacob's shotgun. But it's okay. Okay, I should probably slag. Let's just use our DPS guns just to see how it goes for a second. Let's get rid of you. There we go. Now I have damage reduction, I believe. I think if, if I get rid of this guy once, does he go down forever? I kind of want to have fun with this boss fight just to see. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, get cleansed. Give me some of that deep sound, the turkey lurky McLurky. It's so nice, this, the feeling of like, I don't really think I can die. Oh, I have slag on my grenade. What am I doing? What am I doing? There we go. Let's try the striker. I have a shotgun damage relic. Let's slap that on. I also have SMG damage relic. All right. Okay. Now we have both guns going out. Let's try to land some crits. There we go. Where are you going, turkey? I don't think his head. I think it's only his neck. That's the crit spot. There we go.
Give me that next shot. Wow. Good damage, but I, I feel like... I don't know. I want to get damaged up a little bit in this fight. I just don't, I just don't feel like that's that in danger. And we get a legendary drop too. A little infinity action. Yeah, I don't think the infinity always gets money shot. Because the mag size isn't big enough. We could try. It's something. Well, Jericho action, some iridium for your lad. And now the greatest prize of all, the ethereal gift box. Please. Something good. Okay. We get healing in the form of Miss Moxie's crit. Damage in the form of Octo and order in the... F it's all sustain. Maybe I will... Maybe I will, will unspec Fistful of Hurt if I never use it. Coach guns are double barrels. Ravagers are bigger than that. Okay. Got ourselves a Ravager if we need it. Fire burst, singularities, bouncing baddies, nope. I don't think so. I could go with this in a Ravager. Another Crystal Spinny Gun. I wonder if that's better than the one I've got. Okay, let's take our five. We're gonna go... L3 Gen. And that's it for now. Okay. Toss me some Bouncing Bettys, please. And I think what I want to do is... I want to put the Ravager as my primary weapon, then Miss Maxi's crit, and then we go explosive damage. Okay, make sure that we have the the Ravager out first. Okay. Oh, really? The, it really made me drop my weapon on my first reload. The crit. The crit is so troll. So uh, the, the one thing about the crit that sucks is the fact that you drop your weapons when you use it. Later, kiddo. <laughs> Don't care. The guy gets toxic. Whoa, whoa. Chill out. Chill out. Uncalled for. Later, kid. Let's, let's just drop reload it then. What do you say? Don't, don't start with me. Oh, you're lucky. Yeah, you're lucky that didn't happen to your your friend. Oh, loot XP loader. First time we drop it, you do. Let's go. A shock nasty surprise. Let's try it out. Where are you? Right there. Yeah. Eat that. Um. Overall, pretty atrocious grenade. <laughs> I mean, I know this isn't the best area for it, obviously. But look, oh, enemies with shields. Humans with shields. Is it good against them? Oh, wow, actually. Yeah. You you flying around? You're bugging me. Eat a shock, nasty surprise. Good night. Drop reload me. Oh, you don't look so good. Yeah. Getting good shotguns is, is useful. I saw a couple nasty surprises and I, I walk forward enough to open up this door Just enough to open up the door those guys will spawn and then I can cleanse them and I get the loot that's in behind the door GG Okay A cannon I do like a cannon I do I think it's explosive damage which, which would be nice. There's two different ammo types I can get explosive damage from. All right, come at me, bro. Very cool. Now... I think we go to... Chance to not consume ammo. I mean, that could be really cool, good for launchers, right? Eventually, I kind of want to maybe be going like a launcher type build. This crit is gonna get me. It's gonna get me killed. 
Yeah, it's not worth it to me. It's just not worth it to have. Yes, it gives me the extra healing. Not worth it to me in the long term. Let's grab that cannon. Where are you? Right there. You should both be doing... Just to make sure. This does explosive damage, correct? It does. Okay, go back to one. All right, let's go. I think that together. Oh, I didn't grab that Juso's candy earlier. Let's grab this Jolt's candy. Let's shock nasty surprise him. What I should do is swap out to a transfusion ASAP. Lobbed shock transfusion. Sure. Swap out to a transfusion ASAP and then just get the grenades out there. Not only will they go out and kill everything, they will also heal me. I think it's the best one for the Jolt's candy. Personally. Yeah, it kind of destroys your frames, but it's guaranteed kills. And they get to their targets usually faster than the homing ones do. I'm out of transfusions now. Let's go to my cannon. Where is that vault symbol? Right there it is. If they're not at close range, I can just use this cannon for longer range. Oh, look at all those grenages. Beautiful. All right. I think this is the final mobbing round before the final, like before the final push. I think it's a boss round, a horde round. Look at that cannon. Look at how it just, this is, this is the regular cannon. I'm not getting much damage buffs at all besides just my relic. My class one gives me a little bit of bonus gun damage. We swap, we swap Ravager. We just blow up this guy. What was your plan? Uh, it's just, he's just absolutely clueless, this guy. I think out of bubblegum is nice. It's still gone damage. Very good. Built at the brim just got real. Man, the, the Salvador has too many amazing class mods. It's like, I want to just take them all with me. It's like, oh, that could be so good for this instance. That could be so good for this instance. instance. Know what I'm saying all right that being said we still have to fight a raid boss and we haven't gotten anything game changing uh, the horror show might be might be decent remember we have a B shield so precise hits while taking no damage against Terramorphus with that horror show could be the, the ultimate like the the strategy I think I left some chests behind back here at least one I think filled to the brim and way lay, lay waste is great, but the vengeful raider is exactly what I'm looking for for the late game for, for that money shot capability. Ooh, bushwhack! That should be fun. Okay, we go inconceivable, and then I think filled to the brim makes sense. If I can get my launcher ammo cap maxed out somehow. I could end up going big for me. I haven't been using my launchers. Let's just drop reload it. You. I haven't really been using my launchers, so. I've been trying to conserve the ammunition. The friendship gulag. So, oh no, we still have, we still have a decent amount of mobbing rounds. We're still good. Wow, that's a bunch of skills. Five or six shots, lay waste, and fail to the brim. Wow. This one is really good for guns working. Okay, let's swap over to my long range weapon. There we go. <laughs> we have a plan this time. And the plan is to completely ruin the plan by using Gunzerk. But you know what? That's fine. We do enough damage anyway. All right. Can we can we cleanse this super badass? Swap. Drop reload. No. Okay, we should be absolutely fine here, though. We almost got this sort of badass in one one go. Gotcha. Later, kid. Jump. Blast. Later. Ravager me. Let's go. 
Oh, you want to fly down here? Oh, I got to shoot faster against those lads. Got you. Oh, really thought I got him. Maybe my long range weapon. Oh, it has to reload though. Got you. Super good. Super good. All right, let's, let's get my... My pressure pad. Nothing there is calling my name. I have a horror show. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be using that doll sniper instead. Grenadier. The, the fact that cannon is everything the grenadier wants to be. The cannon is like the uh, uh, explosive assault rifle to me. You know what I'm saying? This does what it's supposed to do. I want to get that relic over there. Super speed is so big. Holy cow. Speeding up your farm times is so insane. Okay, shotgun damage plus 35% is something that I could be interested in. Go to the brim. I'm doing like a no like Gunzerk synergy type thing right now. I don't I don't know what I'm doing with it. But I'm trying to like have an identity for the build. And I think if the identity is we don't Gunzerk, we only Gunzerk like when we need burst or something like that, like Maybe I swap to my launchers when I need to gun Zerk. Other than that, I just use Ravager slash Cannon for the right situation, you know what I'm saying? There. Pretty simple. Mutated Lab Rat, this could be a, a launcher situation. It turned into a, a Ravager situation as well. Gone. What if we just swap to these two, blasted some folks, right? And then we just move on with our day. You know what I'm saying? We don't we don't need them against these guys. That could be kind of good. Ravager's definitely good enough. Oh, we use fistful of hurt. Would you look at that? Okay, I saw some bouncing. I wanted some bouncing Bettys, but I'm not applying slag to anything. I don't mind these transfusions, though. I'm your Huckleberry, and all you need is one. Okay. This could be actually insane. Go to the brim, out of bubble gun, reload speed, max size. Like, it's just. It's just so many. Salvador class mods that could be insanely strong. Later. Look at that. That's a little bit clean. That's a little bit clean. I might continue to try to be a little better at it. And I think it always goes back to its slot where it was. Okay, that's a big thing for me too. As long as it always goes back to the same slot, I'm happy. It's a nice TDR launcher. I've got two TDR e tech launchers. I'm trying to think about if that's a good synergy or not. Does that while well, the cannon doesn't actually count? Does Ravager count? Yes. Okay. I'd be careful where I drop it. Don't drop it in the chaos chamber. All right, for Rackman, do we want to bring him a dream? Down, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm deciding launchers versus my already like. Look at the this, this graphic detail looks a little bit funky here. No, the way like. Way the focus is the focus is all wrong okay let's go got ravager we have explosive damage there we go we got him in one phase too drops us a foster cluck it's not really what we're looking for we got two more chests. That looks kind of gold and shiny. A legendary berserker class mod. That will trigger our respec then. Although, if I do respec, maybe I would rather respec to the vengeful raider. Not so sure. Okay, let's see. Sticky longbow slag singularity is actually good. Like as far as singularities go, that's good. 
We want radius though. I gotta pay more attention to radius. Okay, hey, last chest. Okay, I'm happy with where we're at. Let's go ahead and take... I think we're going to be doing a respec. But for now... Let's just take value points here. Buy rate sounds good. Although it doesn't help my Jacob's weapons at all to help everything else. Okay, fire damage. I think explosive is good too, though, no. Right? But let's go fire damage. Let's go... Incendiary. Incendiary. And our Grenage should be... I would say an Incendiary Transfusion. Because he moves around so fast, we won't be able to get, land anything else. A B could help us in the very beginning stages of this fight. Horror Show comes to mind. My Fire Bandit Launcher comes to mind. It's going to stay in the 3 slot. Sorry about all that. Swappy swoop. And then we could go for a Jericho for try trying that out. But if I run out of ammunition, I could always throw on a bullet regeneration. But I want to stick to the most amount of damage I can get. Maybe it's just an infinity while I pick up ammo or something like that. Okay, B shield, legendary berserker, elemental damage. Let's see how we do. Legendary berserker, I believe. Or is it legendary? Yeah. Cooldown, fire rate, gun damage. Let's do it. I don't really have a way to slag, but he can't be slagged anyway, so. What up, homie? The fight should start right there. And if you pop him before he gets his hat on, it flies up here. All right, buddy. Bring it on. Oh, they put a hat right there so you can't cheese him. Interesting. Okay, so... It's not taking damage from him because of... Or getting my B-shield up is a pipe dream. It would seem. Bum, 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 My B-shield will never be up. He'll keep on slamming, then he'll breathe his fire, his icy fire on top of me. Yeah, this guy's broken. Get some, let's get some transfusions going. On you from the rift. Oh, he don't like that. He don't like that at all. Wow, that magazine. Just rip it and stick it. Good night, Lucius. Let's just go ahead, bro. Didn't think so. Give me that. Okay, so now we get our second ethereal gift box, which is dope. He's gonna drop loot here as well. Leggy. A Neo Generator. Now that's a shield I can kind of get behind. That's a shield that can give us that. Ooh, some nice SMGs. That's a shield. Although it doesn't have very good capacity, it's going to have tremendous synergies. Ooh, and a Snyder. Okay, left hand Snyder I think is a go. Depending on what we get in our Ethereal Gift Box, I think it might be left hand Snyder for a bit. I could go for this Diab. It's got 180% crit damage. I could put that in my left hand if someone is already slagged. Ooh. We got ourselves a Cobra. It's so beautiful. Okay, so maybe we will rock it for a bit. Contraband Skyrocket. Yeah, welcome to the squad, brother. Brother and Aquatoss here will take. We're gonna be respecking, so this is go to the next stage. The temple, the temple of doom. Okay, 
when in doubt launch her out but i don't have access to do not have access to we can just infinity pistol these guys honestly Take some points reloading your gun increases fire rate <laughs> unfortunately i'm not gonna be reloading at all it is what it is i don't think i think we'll be absolutely fine here what's up guys it's like why don't you just throw one fire burst it's like yeah it's is it gonna be faster we'll see fire burst rubberized fire burst how about that good night guys i'm really sorry about this And it is what it is. Okay, let's take our token of wealth. Grab our iridium piles, and then we're going to be hitting up the box, baby. We're going to be getting ourselves some crazy good gear, right? <laughs> we'll see. All right, to the box. We'll collect my reward first, of course. Uh, I've already got shotgun damage. These relics are actually not so great, but the relics further on are very valuable. Okay, give me something good to eat, please. And then let's hit the box. Hey, okay. I couldn't have asked. Couldn't have asked for a better start, pistol wise. Okay, Godfinger. Interesting. Overcompensator could be good for a shotgun. World burn. That could be my new best friend. What do you got? Longbow, Breath of Terramorphous, or a Homing Pandemic? Ah, I don't feel comfortable. Alright, so let's go pistols. Grenage. Launcher. Shotgun. Saw rifle. Okay. I'm okay with that. We are going to go ahead and drop a pretty fat respec, depending on which boss we get. So, let's see. It's going to be our boy Kromorax, who I believe resists explosive damage and is weak to shock. So, before I hit this, let's go ahead and just drop a big old respec. And our what, what's going to be our gun that gets the job done? Maybe the Hector's Paradise? And our respec is going to take us into money shot. First thing we do is take with locked and loaded. I mean, Huckleberry. Money shot. Down, not out. I think that is going to be strong enough. No kill like overkill could be good, but I want to get this ammo regen going. Fulfilled to the brim. Inconceivable. Five or six shots. I actually want it even more than I want guns or synergies. All right. Last longer. Get some. Keep firing. I like auto loader. Divergent like things is good. Keep it piping hot is good too. I might be wasting some skills here. But to me, this this looks pretty good. I don't have APKA. That's I think that'll be okay. I have enough cooldown. And then for our relic, we're going to go. Do we have shock damage? No. Do we have anything for my Hector's Paradise at all? That's tough. That's fine. Well, then we'll just, we'll do. Second wind health. Sure. All right, bring it on. I think maybe what we want to do is instead put on, instead of having this infinity in our left hand, let's throw in our Snyder. There we go. There we go.
The Snyder can hopefully keep him slagged long enough to get and it also gives us a little bit of that bonus crit as well. Okay, he's good. Yeah, I don't feel too bad about my cooldown right now. I don't feel like I need the EPKA. I think it's a waste of points, but I am saying that. I, we get our cooldown back so quickly anyways. Because of the class mod. You just don't really need DPKA. You don't need to invest so much in your guns or cooldown. Okay. Back to the boss. And some nice crits on him right there. I think honestly the fire burst might also be the best grenade for the situation as well. That Snyder being able to ding up everything is so nice with slag and it also gives me crit damage bonus. It's just having that nice utility weapon in your left hand is just so big. And it's firing pretty quick. later and the my, my extra pixel pistol damage doesn't even apply to my left hand anyway so there's no point in having two pistols out if you don't need to in fact you can get more damage from only having one pistol because of divergent likeness because of our bullet regen we can just keep on the trigger it's just you know just salvador things I want to thank the right side tree for getting us to this point when we were gears, you know, a little bit less. But we are at a point now where I feel pretty confident we can at least take out Cromrax. And if we can take out Cromrax, typically you can take out Pyrepeat. And if you can take out Cro Pyrepeat, your last challenge is Hyperius. Since that's just a straight up DPS check, the knowledge check, so. Okay, that's a pretty standard, easy fight. I mean, it looks simple. I mean, Salvador is the raid boss destroyer. What I'm looking for is the grog nozzle for my left hand. Now, you can... Oh, t I mean, did you see that infection cleaner? Um, you can always... A punchy or a meteor shower. That's, that's, that's a little bit tough. That's a little bit tough of you to do that to me. You can always um, try to buy a grog nozzle from the vinyl vending machine, which I think is really, really nice, especially on Sal, who probably... Makes the best use of the grog nozzle by far. But it's hard to get to that point. And even with the grog nozzle, you, you still want something in your right hand that can do big deeps, like a Tunguska or something like that. A Tunguska and a World Burn. Like the ultimate. Like so, if somebody pulls up like this, you go, What up, homie? You know what I'm saying? Like, what up? Oh, yeah. I'm going to put myself down, but it's going to be awesome. And then I have this. This is my I have really decent setup. Incendiary, shock, and explosive resistance. You know what? Let's make myself a little bit more tanky. Sorrowful damage makes sense, too. Let's grab it. Neo generator is the shield so we can start as you collect more gear you can start farming a little bit faster because you don't need that much more you know what i'm saying like you you can tell is there it better or worse move on you know what i'm saying that's tier one of the books like that is that's a of the traditional rogue lands is a longer experience especially if you're farming every single chest like i am what oh, did i really mess this up is this a variation I think this might be a variation. This is a wall, right? Yeah, that's a trap. Okay, so that means we just always go the long way. Thank you. That's the same. I think it's the same kind of puzzle as the first one, where as long as you go the long way, you're good to go for the entire time. 
which is dope. Look at that weapon. That was sick looking. All right, here we are. Tier two coming at you. Let's hope that this Hector's Paradise can speed up our clear a little bit. A little speed run action. And then we're going to grab that chest there too. I still have some spots in my build where I'm kind of lacking. Namely, I'm looking for a like a game-changing primary. I think that Hector's Paradise is good, but the reason I don't like it as much is because it's semi-automatic when fired from the hip. So you have to, and it's not even like fully semi-auto. It's it's a little bit slower than that. Looks like I've got a problem with this guy. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, whoa, that was awesome. Toss a couple of these rubberized fire bursts. Go. I should clear out a bunch of them. All right, we're gonna die. Kind of works out because we want to be shooting both these a little bit higher. Whoa, what's up, homie? Nice. Okay. Ooh, there's a nice cannon right there. I do like myself a cannon. Check my inventory. For sure I will. Okay, speed run this. Open up everything quickly and efficiently. Okay. Gimme, gimme. I've been trying to farm a, a God Roll Monarch on my... DL3 flak account and it's been going okay actually I've, I've been having fun using for the very first time the the fish slap plus unleash the dragon combo which is pretty unique and broken let's do I don't really think I need yippee kaye But I want to increase my accuracy with both guns and throw double grenades. Anything else that I'm missing out on that I think I want? I think lay waste is a good skill. Not as good as insight though. I mean, it, it might be better than insight. But insight, because of the added value of still getting us down the skill tree, is going to give us a little bit more. Okay, this is going to be a very tough section. We got to get through this as quickly as, as possible. As soon as enemies appear, wait, just run through them. Do not wait around for this fight to, to destroy us. Here we go. We're swapping, obviously. Fire everything. Fire everything. You're out of ammo on those two. I'm here. I'm here for the follow-up damage. We survive it. Oh, baby. Let's go. Anything good drop? Nope. I don't have the best grenades for this zone out right now. How about we slap on a good grenade? Doom, doom. How about a homing pandemic? Yes. Spread the dots. What'd you drop me? I hear like an explosive or something. Later, kid. Sorry. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that this stage is tough because those first two guys that spawn launch your enemies or one of them is and you come down here ultimate badass always spawns in that door you can just get swarmed and die but you can always come back open up the chest that that if you try to open and loot you probably die four oh what up rinse them down as fast as i can see so, yep yeah, my hector's paradise is only semi-automatic in in this mode i might go for an overcompensator or something like that okay whoa i even see you there that's rude the what's it called the uh that's constructive resist grenade damage which is a problem for me let's just start tossing my pandemics all over the place Warloader. One more, I got one more pandemic. I need to kill one more enemy. There we go. 
Beautiful. Is there anything to farm right here? No, but there's something down here I can grab. Is there... Uh, yeah, a, a sheriff's badge is exactly what we're looking for. Huge find. Went down here. Grab this last red chest and we'll be well on our way. Oh, there's two down here. No. It's finally a lobslag transfusion, but I think... We're not going to be needing that. All I need is one. Is not a good skill. I believe, right? Isn't, isn't that this one? No, quick draw. What's all I need is one. Yeah. Uh, having weapons? Yeah, I just don't get it. In general. Okay, let's grab that. And then... I'm going to do asbestos, actually. I think it's, it's going to give us enough defense to survive. Less stats means also I can see better. That's a... Un unexpected consequence if I can see better I can fight better well, let's just try to pay attention to when we do get dotted are we dotted yet? not quite if some electrified nomads I might get dotted here Okay, this is a little bit of a risky play. A little bit of a risky play. If I go down, I might be in trouble. Good night. Holy. Yeah, wow, they're all electrified nomads or what's going on here? That's not good at all. That's actually really, really bad. World burn me. There we go. Holy world burn. Boom. Boom. Later, kids. Holy cow. I should just use this. I shouldn't even be messing around. Yeah, just run around with a blood of terror morphous and a and a world burn. And say step up, kids. Any rocket ammo? No. Rocket ammo. Maybe, I wonder if red chests like are kind of a really good source for rocket ammo, just because they're usually bigger chests. A little Lyud Milla for your lad. That's what I'm talking about. Corrosive one, huge. Give me that. Launcher max ammo and pistol max ammo. That could be my new relic of choice. Yes, launcher and a bunch of rockets. It's big. How about a launcher and a bunch of rockets? Dang. Well, cooldown right. We actually did get a cooldown right one, finally. Okay, let's, let's rock it. Asbestos, and then... While guns are working, you regenerate health. That's a pretty good skill. And I, I'm gonna swap out this blood of for my my pistol and launcher max ammo. Let's do it. Southpaw steam and power. Is this gonna be a little oni fight? It's not. Oh, you're lucky. Okay, bring it on. Tire number one. Map meet world burn. Go ahead, do your thing. Later. I'm, I think there might be like a, a glitch that gives you infinite ammo or something like that. I'm not sure exactly how it works. Oh my gosh, she's just drop it at him. Holy. Gosh. Yeah, that's fair. That seems really fair. Go ahead, brother. I'm gonna run away. Oh. There we go. Got him to explode. That's that's not okay. It's kind of bad. Good. So somebody there though. Let's drop reload it. Our our launch ammo is still pretty decent. It's only consuming one per shot. Anybody out there? <laughs> I have this red candy next to me. I kind of want to save it for next round if I can. At the same time. Let's use it right now. Oh. Oh. And honestly, let's go to the next round ASAP. Oh, come on. Click my reward. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Next round. Two. One. Next round. Perfect. Dragon keep. 
Good night. I have to keep I have to try. Oh, I lost it. That's okay. The regular world burn will do just fine there. It's a drop reload. We're actually, we're gonna go to Tunguska here. It's not doing that much. Yeah, not doing that much. Maybe we could swap to say a a Maggie. Sheriff's badge. You could go Hector's Paradise, but maybe the Maggie would be a little bit better. And then... Where did I put my Slag Snyder? That's what I want out most of all. There we go. Something like this. I do have five points to put in. Let's go ahead and do that as well. Um, just got real and and a little bit of a little bit of movement speed I think this damage will be fine and like good enough honestly Maggie gets gets a ton of bonus pellets there we go a little bit of world burn each one of those guys each one of those enemies got killed a different way you know First one was world burn extra projectiles. Second one was world burn standard projectiles. Does, does this work with launchers? Give me my ammo back. No, it doesn't. It's crazy. Honestly, it's kind of it's it's somewhat traitorous. Okay. The Thero gift box. I don't think it gave me anything too crazy. Yeah, pot of gold. No, I forgot what else it gave me. Oh. Okay. I think that. Because this is a hardcore gauntlet, we now have a new primary option. Also, I think that we might have to go to a hoarder class mod to make this work. Let's go ahead and respec. And our gun of choice is now going to be the peak opener, which cannot crit. Because it cannot crit, I don't necessarily care about the crit damage bonus. Instead, all I really care about is the healing factor of the creamer. Okay. Then we are going to be going explosive damage. A grenade that does damage. I guess the, the pandemic should be fine. And for our skills, it's going to be max ammo conservation. Increase the duration of gun zerking. We'll take it. Ammo conservation. Now the, the get taking fire rate probably not the smartest choice, but weapon swap speed and critical hit damage is so bad. It is what it is. We go money shots. Divergent likeness. Down out out lay waste. Do we need to keep it piping hot? Yeah, we'll take keep it keep it piping hot. This will allow us to get our gu our guns working back even while we are guns working. Reduce recoil. Hey, okay, yep. And I think do auto loader. I think I'll be just fine to take more points in insight, more points in asbestos, more points in hard to kill. Right. I think that we'll be just fine here. Okay, the peak opener is going to get the job done, I think. One thing we're missing is slag, but we have healing in our in our left hand right now. And we have accuracy and all that in our in our right hand. And actually, let's swap over to the Vengeful Raider. Gives us insight, money shot, assault rifle accuracy. But money shot's the big one. Let's try Nomad. You always blast with the creamer, right? We have explosive damage on. Good night. That's what makes the peak opener so good is that regardless of your elemental immunities, I don't think there's anything in the game that resists both shock and explosive. And if there is, it's very rare. And I'm not sure if it's even in Roguelands at all. 
Okay. And no more points to put in. That's fine. That's it. That's it for points. But we got our peak opener. Now we're just kind of trying to get to that grog nozzle. Let's go for actual clear times right here. Do 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 do. Good night. So we get most of our fire rate, I believe, is after a kill and after a reload. That's not a good. That's not good. Hopefully we can get ourselves back up here quickly. Swap over to our launchers. Come on, get me back up. No, oh, we're never over. Holy cow. You gotta be very careful. Even with healing. You go, but are not so great against that type of enemy. Okay. Decent against you. Oh, really? Come on now. I can't go down in succession. If I go down in succession, the run will end. You get a little bit of, I think, maybe a little bit of high ground. There's no, but there's no cover with this high ground. There we go. This is my space. You can't be here. Drip that gas tank. Maybe it'll hurt one of the birds. Birds are just hard to take out. I think what we could do is it's tough. It's tough. Yeah, I want to have good weapon combos. Quantity over quality? <laughs> nope. Okay, I'm back. I'm, I'm regening a bunch of health and I'll get a bunch of health back with Gunzerk. I'm ready to play aggressive again. Let's go. Oh, look at that jump. That guy's got major jumping abilities. Okay, that's it. Let's go. Let's move on. Took my reward first. Of course, of course. Two, one, and we're pushing. Hopefully this is the easy forge or the hard forge. Okay, this is the medium difficulty forge. Very red, this stage. Okay, get that free reload because of Gunzerk shenanigans. Um, bum, bum, bum. Kill that buzzard. Here we go. Get that accuracy pinpoint. Find enemies. If I don't find enemies, I don't live. There you are. Get the buzzards. Oh, you want to drop down right next to me. That's just not... If there's one place you don't want to be, it's right next to the gun zerker. That reload off. Get right next to this guy. There we go. Where's, I should be healing up from that. At least a little bit. There. The buzzer doesn't want to fly back down here now. Oh, he's full dead. Where you at? Okay, drop down. Good. Good plan. <laughs> nice plan, bro. Thank you very much. Back off a little bit. Maybe a pandemic or two. Don't have, even have to hit that guy. Just drop the, the shots above his head. Can't see you. Oh, that, that would have been detrimental to my health if that guy would have gotten that shot off or gotten that punch off. Very detrimental. So, yeah, we did die once in our gauntlet run. It was on Maya. We jumped off the map on this stage. Okay. So... While farming, we jump straight off the map. I'm not going to be going to that corner to farm. Not, not now. Not, not during a hardcore gauntlet challenge. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Let's chill out just for a second. Yes. Okay. Now we have a little bit of Oni to deal with. Oni and his lunatic bombers, but I have a lot of shock damage. Might not be enough. Ooh, how about a little bit of uh, fire rate and emory gen? Oh, I went down. That's not good at all. I should get the job done, right? Oh my goodness. Wow. Thank you, World Burn. I gotta make sure I got these 
Oh, I should have looked at to see if one of them had more money shot than the other. Shoot. Okay, that's gonna be it for this stage. I'm just gonna get off the stage. I don't want to die. He took out Oni though. Okay, same strats. You know, maybe this is a, a swap it up situation. We go world burn and peak opener. Oi. Oh my. Yeah, this is the strat right here. This is the strat right here. We just go world burn left hand, peak opener right hand. Fake legendaries. Ooh, bottom my boom and call me a biscuit. Let's go. Getting all kinds of amazing guns. Um, I'd actually my inventory is so whacked. Tunguska has gotta go. Ooh, a slagger. Alright, here's the new strat. Okay, ready for this one? The creamer, I think, is getting I can't bench the creamer. Shoot. Here's what we do. Tunguska is getting benched. Guska is getting benched for what? It's getting benched for World Burn. World Burn. This should be at the very top, right? It's effervescent. Yeah. This game does not want to let me swap these weapons out. Get out my inventory. Try again. Maybe because my backpack is just a little bit too full. Let's start dropping stuff. Drop my Cobra. Holy cow. Okay, see you later to that stuff. Now please let me swap. Even if I... Oh, I don't want to drop it. Maybe that's the way. Get in my inventory now. That should be my four spot. Okay, then that's good. Okay, this should be good enough. Listen, I don't have slag, but... I can always equip slag to my grenade spot, right? Is that going to work for me? <laughs> Yeah, I took too much stuff. Look at all the stuff I have. It's causing problems. Okay, let's do... The Bouncing Betty. Or maybe a Skyrocket. That's fine. We can stick with, stick with the Pandemic. It is what it is. Let's just move on. No! A Fatal Error! Note to self, take off the backpack mod since there's already 100 backpack space built into Roguelands. I think this might be the last time I use the backpack manager for now. Boom. Okay, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. I'm not going to count it as a death. It's also not going to count as a win. We were going to get there, but we didn't actually get there. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.